Hi guys, Metalhead here and welcome to my channel where I talk about all things gold, silver and other precious metals and today what I'm going to be talking about is something that comes up time and time again which is fractional gold and what my thoughts are on fractional gold and whether or not this is something that I think is a viable part of a stacking strategy and today this is going to be my opinions on fractional gold and where it fits in with my stacking strategy. I have a certain approach to stacking. There's lots of different ways to do it, and I'm sure there's going to be lots of people who view fractional gold in a different way. So please do drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree, if you have any different thoughts. I'd be interested to hear your opinions on how fractional gold fits or doesn't fit in within your stacking strategy. And today, as part of this video, I'm going to be using these two coins that I've just recently bought actually. There's a one ounce on the left here, 2022 Britannia. And on the right here, we have a quarter ounce, 2022 Britannia. I picked these up the other day in London from Sharps Pixley. I, I bought them from the shop itself. Uh, and I'll be talking about these coins on another video. So keep an eye out on my channel uh, where I'll have a, a bit of a deeper dive on these coins specifically. Um, so I think, you know, in terms of looking at fractional gold, it's probably quite useful to work through it systematically and kind of analyse the merits and drawbacks of using fractional gold. And I'll try and break that down qualitatively uh, and quantitatively as I go through the video. I mean, starting with really, I mean, what do we actually mean by fractional gold in the first place? And my understanding really of what we mean is anything below a one ounce gold coin I would categorize personally as fractional gold so you know with most coins including the Britannia you have your one ounce followed by a half ounce a quarter ounce like this one and a tenth ounce and I, I would personally categorize anything below this one ounce point as being fractional and, and firstly a quick comment on you know qualitatively you know even if you are buying a quarter or a half you really don't scrimp on quality if you can see if, if the video focuses correctly, which I hope it is doing, you know, the, the quarter ounce is just as good quality in detail as the one ounce coin. If anything, you could argue it's better as they're dealing with a smaller surface area, but you're certainly not compromising on the quality of the coin at all. It really is just a mini me version of its larger brother, which I think is pretty cool, actually, especially when you get down to the one tenth denominations, having a kind of shrunken down version of its bigger brother, the one ounce version. And, you know, why would you actually buy fractional gold, I suppose is the question. I mean, certainly I've had my reasons in the past. And I know, you know, for those who are just starting out in stacking, it can be quite, you know, a, a big deal to go straight and in, straight into the one ounce territory on gold. I mean, right now, one, a one ounce of, a one ounce coin rather, of gold is coming in well over a thousand pounds. You're talking one and a half thousand pounds, which can be a big, big commitment, really. So I think a lot of people will buy fractional gold as their, you know, first dip in the pond of uh, buying gold. Because as I'll touch on uh, in a few minutes, um, the price points can be a lot more attractive uh, on on the fractional side. I mean, to state the obvious, it's because you're buying less gold, of course, and there are drawbacks to that, and I will touch on them in a moment. And another reason why you might want to look at fractional gold is for gifts and presents. I mean, I certainly haven't re ever received um, a quarter ounce or a sovereign as, as a gift, but I know people do do that. And it just gives a bit more of an attractive price point for a, for a gift, be it a birthday present or a Christmas present. Um, so, so I think that's another reason why you might look at um, buying fractional gold. But, but, but on the economics of um, buying an ounce or a large denomination versus fractional. I'm just going to pop these coins down and bring over my notepad because this will probably demonstrate the point I'm trying to make a bit clearer if I can just jot down a few points and I'll also get my uh, calculator if that works. Just bear with me, I'm just, it's on my other phone so I'll just quickly log into my other phone, get my calculator up. There we go. So this coin, I'll, I'll just put a few columns in here. So we'll do a column for coin. We'll do a column for price paid. We'll do a column for spot. 
and then premium and then premium as a percentage because the point I'm going to make is when you do buy fractional gold you tend to pay a much higher premium than you do for buying a one ounce coin for example so to give you an example um, the one ounce coin here I bought this the other day as I say from Sharks Pixley and I paid £1,543 and on the quarter ounce coin I paid let me just check my records here yep four hundred and fourteen pounds and on them days when I bought them coins uh, just to give some perspective here the spot price on gold was one thousand four hundred and sixty eight pounds an ounce so the intrinsic value of the gold contained in this coin is worth that if you just melted the coin down that's how much it would be worth and then so if you divide that by four to give us the quarterly price um, I have got a note of this somewhere it would be three hundred and sixty seven pounds so let's just do a quick calculation straight away just to see the sort of premium uh, that we're looking at so we'll do on the first coin the the ounce coin we'll do one five four three minus one four excuse me one five four three minus one four six eight and that gives us seventy five pounds premium and then on the quarter ounce, we'll do 414 minus 367, and that's £47 premium. And to, to perhaps make that a bit clearer, because them numbers are a bit meaningless, let's do uh, the percentages. So to work out the percentages, we'll do 75 divided by 1468 times 100. And that gives us 5.11%. And then on the quarter ounce, we'll do 47 divided by 367 times 100. And that's 12.81%. 12 12 <laughs> it makes a material difference there. But yeah, you can see straight away that the premium that we're paying, so the price of the actual coin and the gold within the coin over its intrinsic value is much higher. I mean, double the premium on a quarter ounce versus a one ounce. So in short, you're not getting quite as much bang for your buck, which, you know, that is a real downside, I would say, to buying fractional gold. There's lots of reasons why you do it, as I said. But ultimately, uh, in terms of the economics of buying fractional, you're not getting as great a deal as you would buying a larger coin and um, but some people do argue a few points in favor of uh, fractional other than obviously just wanting fractional some people do make the point about liquidity and saying that because they are smaller denominations it's easier to trade back and forth on the secondary market and you know i, I hear that point i do but me personally I've, I've been doing this a few years now and I, i've never had trouble finding a buyer for one ounce coins it's, it's not like you come into some serious liquidity issues over being able to get a fair price in good time on a one ounce coin versus a quarter ounce so i think take that with a pinch of salt i mean i think if we were talking about you know kilo bars plus perhaps yeah it might take a bit longer to find a buyer but it, within the one ounce coin space really my experience has been you, you, you can get a fair price pretty quick if you need to and, and some people also say on on that on that point some people make the point they'll say well you know if you will need to if you need to free up you know 500 600 pounds not you don't quite need to free up thousands of pounds maybe for an emergency well this quarter ounce or a half ounce will give you the flexibility to, to do that whereas a one ounce obviously won't you have to you know sell the whole coin and you may not want to free up that sort of money but i, I would perhaps make the point um you know if you're likely to need you know 500 600 pounds within the next year or two perhaps at this point gold and silver stacking probably isn't the right thing to be doing anyway if you need that immediate liquidity so i mean i hear the point and descriptively that is true um but i would perhaps question that at more a fundamental level whether or not you should be putting money into physical precious metals if there's a good chance you're going to need the money um at some point in the future. I mean, of course, there are always emergencies. I accept that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't particularly resonate with, with, with that argument for fractional, if I'm being honest. 
Um, and there's, you know, there's also a few other points to perhaps make. I mean, you know, if you if you are starting on a budget, as I said, I understand that you might not want to commit to a full ounce bar. I I, I get that, and this does give the option to slowly build up your stack. I mean, I certainly when I started out. I would buy a few quarter ounces, um, sovereigns, and I understand it's it's a good way to sort of dip your toes into the water of precious metals investing and build up that stack over time. So I think you know overall, I think there's definitely positives of using fractional, and um, but you have to be willing to accept the fact that you know you're going to get hit on the premium when you buy fractional gold. You're going to pay over the odds. Um, to get that intrinsic metal and chances are as well on the sell side you're quite unlikely to recoup that premium uh, when you come to sell maybe you'll recoup a little bit if you sell it on the secondary market to another person uh, privately but certainly if you were selling this quarter ounce coin back to a dealer you may get spot um, you may get a slight premium over spot but you're certainly going to lose a certain amount of that premium or at least more than you would if you were to sell a one ounce coin uh, back to a dealership so yeah i mean there's a, there's a place for fractional i think uh, within a stack but for me personally moving forward i'm going to be focusing on the one ounce coins and even if that means waiting a bit longer until i can buy one um that's okay because i think the for me the the, the, the downside the, the the economic side of buying uh, fractional just doesn't quite stack up excuse the pun <laughs> Um, so yeah, hopefully that was useful, guys. As I say, it's just my thoughts on fractional. I know there's lots of different ways of doing it. I know there's different thoughts and um, opinions on fractional. So please, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you don't. And I'll look forward to having a look to see what everyone thinks. Um, as I said before at the, start of the, at the start of the video, I will be looking at these two coins in a bit more detail. So to stay up to date with the channel and what I'm going to be posting, uh, please do hit subscribe and head over to my channel and check out some of my videos. But in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching and happy stacking.